are celebrating the incredible feats of young people here in Sri Lanka, Colombo, right here in Galadari. I am here at the New Generation Awards uh, organized by the New Generation Chapter of Women in Management. So let's take a look at the award winners of tonight and see what they have to say. And now I am here with the winner of the Young Journalist Award of the New Generation Awards 2022, Rehab Maulana, who looks stunning in blue, by the way. How are you feeling about tonight? Wow, I'm really, really excited. Um, this is a great kind of platform to support the youth. And we are the future, right? And we need the encouragement. We are, you know, paving change. And to be appreciated for that is, I think, obviously amazing and very humbling as well. I love that. I love that you are humble, you are grounded, even though you have been recognized from all kinds of journalists in Sri Lanka, in Colombo, right here, right now. All right, so I want to know, in terms of journalism, what do you think are the five most important things to be a good journalist? Wow. First of all, I think you really need to be very passionate about what you do, because if you're not passionate, then, I mean, you're not going to be able to tell very authentic stories. And you have to be a stickler for facts. You know, you can't be um, subjective about things. You have to be very objective. Um, of course, honesty, integrity, uh, a lot of patience. <laughs> um, and yeah, like... You covered five. <laughs> yes, so those are very important, certainly. Thank you so much for that. There's so much to learn. And congratulations again. I hope you have a fantastic night. I, I, um, thank you so much. It's lovely chatting with you. <laughs> now I'm here with two very recognizable faces from social media, Chanel and Shehan, who are walking away with the best youth tourism promoter award. Chanel, this is amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. We are thrilled and honored and just really happy to be here. I love that. So tell me a little bit about why exactly both of you decided to take this path in your social media journey. I think uh, we started this journey a very long time ago, about like four years ago and um, it all stemmed from a genuine love for travel and I uh, want to just create something that... Yeah, create travel related content to enable us to live a lifestyle that we want to move all the time. Yes. And then I think as all the difficulties started happening in the country, we decided that we could you know, help Sri Lanka also. And so that kind of um, set us up to work here and do some work around Sri Lanka. And never thought we would get to this, but yeah, super proud for Chanel. Amazing achievement. Thank you. And it's very rewarding work as well, I must say. There's nothing uh, as rewarding as being able to do something that's posi that positively impacts your country. So I think we're very happy and grateful for that. I think this is one of the best suited awards because personally I'm a fan, alright, and I've seen how authentic the content is. It's, it's such a unique take on tourism content. I haven't seen anyone do it the way you guys do, so congratulations. What's next for you? Well, we are still actually wrapping up our last series which was cycling around the island. So once that is, it's actually on YouTube right now, people can catch it and the main purpose of that is to kind of showcase Sri Lankan tourism in a different light as well as to show people that Sri Lanka is safe if two people can travel on a bicycle around the country, it's very safe for foreigners to come back. So that's the message we're trying to get out with that series yeah. and following that we'd love to um, stay focused on eco-friendly, sustainable travel and whereas low emission travel as well because we think that that is the future and we think that it's a good way for Sri Lanka to go forward even if there, we do have any kind of issues like we did in the past it will be a tourism model that we can still follow so yeah no I think that's pretty much sums it up yeah I think that's really innovative and I love that you have that outlook towards the future of Sri Lanka because it's so important to have that in your mind right so thank you so much you both look absolutely stunning tonight I hope you have a great night thank you So now I'm with my personal favorite award winner of the night. I pick favorites, all right? Okay, okay, okay. I'll take it. <laughs> Sasha, who has won the Positive Social Media Influence Award, and this is also a dream come true because I love getting the chance to interview 
because yeah. you're always on the other side sometimes yes. right oh my gosh yes that's so true i'm always doing your job and you know uh, that's the case all the time but you know to be interviewed for something like this is honestly an honor and i'm uh, i was you know really thankful and grateful when they approached me and said you know we have this thing we'd like to uh, award it to you so it was uh, especially because it comes from women in management i know of their work i've um, sort of voiced a few things for them a couple of years ago so i sort of lo looked into what it is and also sri lanka youth as well so um it was honestly uh, an honor yeah and it's so well deserved because i more than anybody i would say i've followed you from the beginning and i know what your content has been and how empowering it is you can learn so much from your social media and the fact that you're always you know putting a positive message out there for everybody to learn and especially in all kinds of languages i really really appreciate that and i'm so proud of you thank you i can say the same for you influencer <laughs> not you so really much. thank you so much thanks also I love the outfit. Girl, I took so much effort for this outfit. I, I hope you appreciate. <laughs> I'm sure everyone who's watching is going to be like, "Oh my god, I need to learn a thing or two from Sasha." Yes, please. <laughs> Will you do some fashion content for us? Uh, maybe. I'm actually hope, hoping to do some YouTube content as well, so let's see how that goes. All right, I'm so excited. Send me all the deets. I will. I'll send you the links. Thank you so much. Okay. And now I have with me someone who's walking away with one of the most prestigious awards of tonight, the Corporate Career Woman of the Year, Naomi. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you and nice to talk to you after a long time. It's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah. You always have such a vibrant smile on your face and it's so nice to see you getting recognized for the accomplishments that you deserve. So tell me a little bit about what it's been like in your career so far up to this point. Thanks first of all um so i would say that my career has been quite well rounded even though i've just had like 5 plus years of experience so i've had experience in the retail sector and now in fmcg and as well as in lecturing so i think i've covered pretty much all bases for my first 5 years so i guess winning this award really sets up the pace for the years to come and looking forward to actually accomplishing more <laughs> as you should i mean there's a ladder and it it just keeps going upwards right definitely definitely i mean uh should stop here should keep striving for more and i guess that's what sri lanka really needs at this point uh so hoping that i could uh, sort of you know be that change maker i love that so i have one more question for you all right so so for anyone who's watching this right now do you have any tips on how to make smart decisions in your career maybe three tips if you can give me something smart decisions so that's quite interesting so uh, normally people would think that it's just looking at pros cons cost benefits but it's actually looking at how certain decisions impact the not just the short term sort of uh, you know problem that you're trying to solve but looking at it long term having a strategy in mind and sort of seeing how it fits into the overall picture so i guess that's where i would start if i had to make a decision and then sort of to see how you can get other people on board right it's after all cross functional you know uh so having that people skills and you know making sure that you as a leader look at it from both a sort of an emotional as well as a functional sort of uh, aspect um those are my two tips If I'm to think of a third tip it would be a uh, sort of to go with your gut sometimes I mean you will have the numbers you will have everything in front of you but sometimes you need to take risks uh, obviously calculated risks but uh, yeah go with your gut if that's what it's telling you I guess there's a reasoning behind it so yeah <laughs> I love that I love how you threw in the word strategy calculated but also trusting your instincts and that's so so important congrats again you look lovely love the colors all right thank you thank you so much all right i hope you have a fantastic night you too thank you woman of the hour herself 
Dr. Solochana Sikera, who is the founder of the New Generation Awards, and uh, she is gracing me with her presence in a beautiful green sari. You look stunning today, by the way. Thank you so much. All right, so tell me about what your inspiration was for this particular event that we are experiencing here today. So the new generation actually it came to me two years ago. I thought that rather than we complain about youth, why not we recognize youth who has contributed to the economy and also contributed to the society because they are the future, right? You all are the future. So in 2020, I got few categories and we started the award during the pandemic and it was a high time that they didn't allow any events but we were the first. From that now in 2020 we were able to recognize 50 youth across the country. So I think that was my aim is to ensure that we recognize uh, youth rather than we complain about youth. I love that idea. I love that it's also island-wide and it's not just centered around Colombo. Also, I want to know now, let's say someone who's watching this today wants to apply for next year's awards. How is that process? How do you do that? So the process is very simple. We open nomination and it's about your story. Storytelling and also it's, around, it's not about what you're planning to do in the future. It's what you have done and what you're doing presently. So a lot of youth, they speak about their future. Unless you live in your presence, you can't talk about the future. So we encourage youth who are actually doing something presently and also it is something that unique and it's going to inspire another youth. You can always nominate yourself or nominate another youth when the nominations are open. Yeah, that's something that really stuck with me from your speech as well, how it's not just about you, it's about well, who comes after you. It's always about making a pathway for that next person. And I think that's what you are doing with all the work you've been doing with Women in Management, just this awards itself. So thank you so much for that. Uh, what's next for Women in Management? Is there anything else apart from the magazine that we saw today and things like that? What's going on? So we are launching, actually, we are bringing a global event to Sri Lanka in June which is top 50 global women economic forum in june we are inviting 25 countries to come to sri lanka so in that also we want to give a youth an opportunity to showcase to speak about their stories so it's going to be a very huge uh, event in sri lanka hopefully we can make it i hope so too and i hope i'm there to see it and witness it in person thank you so much Solochana. all the very best with everything in the future thank you so much